solve no murder case now, nigga. <gasps> Damn it. You fucker. Oh, shit. Man, your house is empty. Oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low. Coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Great! Let's go! What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. we got to meet them in the air. I... Uh, well... Uh, okay. Well, look, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist. Giving back the heart. That was bullshit. Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merryweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got. It. I was expecting something a little more impressive. The damn. The late great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards and merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci. I want country clubs. Whoa! No! Wife with blonde hair and a hot little secretary who bounces on my boy! Maybe if you'd buy into Oscar's business? I'm hearing there's a lot of bounce in the firearms sector. Crop duster? That's the best we can do? Call our guys south of the border. Tell them there's a fire sale. I'll get you on the radio!
plane is in a holding pattern to the west. Try and stay low. The control tower at Fort Zancudo is monitoring air traffic. Look up to the sun, man. The military will be all over you. This is serious, team. Get down! Nine crop duster. Just enjoying the beautiful San Andreas weather.
Now that's not very sociable. with you! How's the man supposed to enjoy his beer and peanuts with all these bumps? Merryweather Cargo Jet Ground Control, please be advised of a change of destination. We are now landing in Mackenzie Field. Swapping radio channels. Over. Ronnie, the cargo jet is now part of the TP Enterprise fleet. You with the max? Shoot me 
down anyway. Think of the ground casualties. What you get, buddy? Oh. Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I'm gonna I saw the plane go down! Down. down! I survived! And Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank oh, God! The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Oh, good idea! But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay. Look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Driving us up to the bank.
let me call Lester. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. I'm calling Lester. Michael, how's your vacation? Just great. Paradise. Only it's turning into a work trip. I remember you mentioning something about a bank in the sticks. Uh-huh. That wasn't Polito Bay by any chance. That's the one. All right, look. I'm heading there with Trevor. Can you get down here and help us scope it out? Okay, sure. I'll get on a bus. Oh, Lester's coming, so you know. I don't mind cutting Invalid in on a score we gotta give to the feds. Yeah, well, there might be something in it for us, too. How much do they say they need it? <sighs> Two mil plus. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. Us two on another bank. A bank? This is it, man. This is a comeback tour. It's gonna be a ride. Yeah, my ride. You mean you get to kill people, right? <laughs> That's my Trevor. You love making a felony into felony murder, don't you? Oh, yeah, I forgot. You're more of an aggravated murder kind of guy. Still ends with a death penalty. If they catch you. Then it's just that troubled conscience of yours. I've learned to stop blaming me for me. You should try it sometime. No, thank you. Of course not. You're usually too obliterated to consider your actions with anything approaching deep thought. Whoa, man. What happened to you? Maybe my friend did die that day. What happened to me? Life happened, Trevor. Responsibility. Oh, yeah, this again, please. You're part of the... You're part of the community now? One of your pals at the country club found out how you paid the membership fee. I ain't that popular at the country club. But I'll tell you what, if they did know, they'd probably try to option my life story. Oh, God, you're the stars in your eyes. Typical movie geek narcissist. I'm not a narcissist. Only narcissists care that much about their tan lines. You've got a sense of entitlement. You think the world owes you something. That's why you take scores. That's why you cut out on me and Brad for a life of empty luxury. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. You're a therapist now, huh? Wake up, Trevor. You take scores too. You're as bad as me. What am I saying? There's no possible world in which you're as bad as me. It's not the same. Shit! Not the same. What's not? You have got a condition. I have a coherent philosophy. Oh, a philosophy? Really? Dude, you should have joined that midlife crisis motorcycle club you massacred. You douche. Yeah. Oh, bullshit. You know all about a midlife crisis. Hey, your crisis started the day you were born. I'm just catching up. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? <sighs> Come on, man. Knock it off. What? I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. 
dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> okay, let's take a look at this bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. They take us around back. Okay. There's an empty lot behind. And no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Man, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. Pull into the vacant lot with the garbage container in it. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score's gonna pay. Well, we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no. This is the score. Right. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey! You heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor of shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. You're fucked when I bring my geek guys there, huh? What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Toledo Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars. More in the wings. Bad cops guarding dirty money. Fuck how many. We can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass. I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're going to forever...
they get here? What took you so long? What took you so long? Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, right? Then you're gonna be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a... a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than... Our little, uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on? Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Ah, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. He handled himself at the jewelry store. That it? You're sure? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, hmm? you do what you do. Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> 